in episode 1.7, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your images not look like crap like this. Ah, much better. Hello guys, Cryptograns here. Welcome back to episode 1.7 of the Unity Idle Game Tutorial Series. This is the 2021 edition, and I hope you guys are all doing well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, turn on the bell for notifications, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content. Anyways, let's get right into this. So, I am using my own image right here for this button, and as you can see, it doesn't look great. It has weird corners, and it just looks like it was smushed, and it just looks terrible. So how do we fix this? Well, it's really easy actually. All we gotta do is go to your original image, which for me is called button three. So this is an image that I imported into the assets folder of your project. And I'm just gonna go to the inspector, click on sprite editor, and you can see you have this panel here. And here, or in this window, basically what you're gonna do is drag the corners here so then you can see this green line right here. And you basically want to crop out the corner sections here, like this, so that all the roundness is inside this little section right here. You want to do this for the opposite corner. You could adjust each side accordingly if you need to, if they're uneven. Just make sure you have all of the curved stuff inside this little cut right here. And when you're done with that, just hit apply. And then after that, go back to your button that has the image and go to image type, go from simple to sliced. Okay, so now it looks like this. So this also doesn't look very well. Now this is where our customization comes in. So you see this pixel per unit multiplier here? So when you increase it, it does something like this. See, now it looks more like a real button. However, what if you want less roundness and you also want like a thinner border or, you know, this may look okay as a panel, but for some people, they might not like it. What you can do is simply just keep increasing this and as you can see, you can go on forever and it will look like this. And this obviously doesn't look good, but there is a point it, look, it might look good for you. So like this looks good. This looks pretty good. Something like this also looks pretty good. Just something like this is not acceptable. <laughs> so yeah, all you gotta do is just adjust the value to however you like. Make sure you stay consistent with all your buttons. That is it for this video. I know it was very simple. If you want more information on image slicing, make sure you check out the video in the description below. And if you learned something new, if you like this video, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure it turns blue. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on notifications for future live streams and videos. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a great day and night and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.